Hi, Hawkius Maximus here, and I've got another video for you. This isn't one of my finds videos, that'll be in a few days' time. This is a special, a one off. It's a friend of mine that's made a treasure find. He's just about to hand it in. Uh, nobody thinks he'll get the item back, so this is an opportunity for me to record it for him, but also to put it on YouTube. If I was to say solid silver annual brooch, 1250 to 1350 AD, Agla inscription, the yellow technique type decoration. Would you like to see it? Would you like to find out a little bit about it? Well, watch on. I did a similar video uh, for another friend of mine, Tom. That video there, and that was a similar thing, handing in for treasure, don't think you'll get it back. So you might want to watch that if you've not seen it. Well anyway, let's get straight in. Bye for now. How are you doing? Okay, not too bad. Thanks. <laughs> Good, yeah. <laughs> you look nice and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, could I ask you the same as I asked Tom last time, how long have you been detecting? So about, about 18 months. Yeah, where? And uh, what, what detector have you got? So at the moment I've got uh, Garrett 400i. Right. Yeah, and before that I started on the basic Garrett, the 150. Right, what do you think of the 150? It was a good little starter. It's uh, not got much discrimination, so you can't tell a lot what's in the ground. But yep. um, just to get into the uh, the hobby, it was a really good cheap detector. Right. So there you go. And it's like the last interview with Tom. I think he started off uh, with a, with a Garrett. I think it was a Garrett 250, and he said it was a good little machine. But as you go up market, you're going to get that bit extra depth, that bit extra functionality to it. So. Right, I'm going to be looking at some notes because this interview is a bit out of the blue. Um, you found it in Dorset? Yeah, yeah, locally, not too far. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not going to ask you where. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> and what sort of ground was it on? So it was on pasture, uh -huh. uh, but there was a lot of flint in the ground, so there was yeah. a lot of stones. We do have a lot of flint in Dorset and it can be hard going. How far was it down? So it's about... Uh, six to eight inches down, which is, in that field, on my permission, is quite deep. Most of the stuff yeah. is about two to four inches, so uh, yeah, it's pretty deep. <laughs> right, and as you can see on the brooch, it's silver and uh, it's got some black decoration and banding on it. And that's called Niello. And Niello is a mixture of sulphur, copper, silver and lead, which is added as a powder or a paste to the silver, and then it's fired and it gives it that black effect. On the rear, and I'll show you another photograph, it's got the words Agla. And the meaning of the letters Agla is the Latin equivalent of the Hebrew words Afa, Giori, Lian, and Donai. Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't want any comments on that. Which translate, Thou art mighty forever, O Lord. And these letters were commonly believed to have magical properties in the Middle Ages. So 
So, um, tomorrow night is actually our club meeting where the Fines Liaison Officer will be present. And that's when you're going to hand it in. Yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what happened when you showed the brooch at our club meeting last month? And you dis We have Fines of the Month and Coins of the Month, a little competition at the club. And Rob put his brooch down for Find of the Month, Artifact of the Month. Yeah, so that one Artifact of the Month, that which one. I was quite pleased about. So, uh, tomorrow night, uh, you'll, you'll get a little certificate for Artifact of the Month, and then I'll take a photograph of that, and then you'll be handing the brooch over to the floor, possibly never to be seen again. How do you feel about that? Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed. It'd be nice to get it back. Um, no matter what it's worth, really, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing, and I'd quite like to get it back. But yeah, uh, you would. Yeah. From what I've heard, it's, uh, I might not see it again. Mm. Uh, has anybody said that you th think you'll get it back? <laughs> Not so far. Not so far. <laughs> no. And I think I think the reason may well be that it is stunning, but the value it might not be worth a real big amount of money. So a museum could quite easily say, "Well, that's stunning. Uh, that'll that will thrill the visitors." And if it's going to be a few hundred pounds, then we'll have it. But at least now. You'll have this video, I'll give a copy to him, and then in posterity, if he doesn't get it back, he can have a look and at least enjoy it. So, thanks for the key. <laughs>